Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> this isn't funny, man. What's up everybody, Mark here from Remarkable Woodworks and in this week's episode I'm going to be giving away my favorite finishing sander from Marka. Well not this one, this one is mine. But as soon as I find the box with the other one in it, I'm going to give that one away. And then I'm going to go buy myself a very expensive Christmas present. Unless my wife is watching this, in that case it was super cheap. No wait, it was free. I got it. I got it for free. Found it. I posted a video a little while ago on my channel on my thoughts of the Merca sander. And my buddy Zach reached out to me and asked me what my actual thoughts of the sander was. So I just sent him the link for the video. Anyways, we went on to talk about how he's been in the market for getting a sander for the last little bit. So I reached out to Merca Canada and asked them if they could send me a sander in which I could then gift to Zach. Very confusing. It probably would have been a lot easier if we just would have gotten them to ship it to him. We're here now. Anyways, the sander came in. I happen to be off, so I'm gonna head into the city and surprise him with the sander. He has no idea that I'm coming. I've just called to ask to meet up for coffee so that we could catch up and told him to bring his camera. That's it. So if you don't know who Zach is, he's a great contractor, an incredibly talented woodworker, and shoots amazing videos. And during the summer I ran into a couple of times actually where I was in a little bit of a jam on tight timelines with some projects and I needed an extra set of hands. So whenever I called Zach, he literally dropped whatever he was doing to meet me on site the next day. Bailed me out of a ton of different situations and I don't think I would have made it throughout the summer without his help. So this is just my way of saying thank you. There he is. Hey Zach. Hello. I have your present. But I didn't wrap it. I'm just gonna put it in a garbage bag. Don't judge me. Okay, no problem. Sweet. I'm not sure if it was a physical present or it's a legit present, and I'm aiming for tears. Okay. Shit. All right. <laughs> no pressure, though. No pressure. <laughs> You can't judge me, I wrapped it myself. Okay, I can tell. <laughs> this is a big box. This is huge. Let's go big or go home. No kidding. Okay, okay. Damn. I'm looking at the logo on the side of it and I'm immediately suspicious. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> I, no, dude, I'm, this gave me no tears. I'm actually mad at you <laughs> for getting me a gift this nice. Look, <laughs> here, we'll bump, we'll bump. Dude, I wish I could kiss you right yeah, now. Yeah, well, we can hug when it's legal, I guess. Yeah. Dude, are you kidding me? This you like it? Of course, man, this is awesome. This is amazing. Can I do the grand reveal? Look at this. This is the sander I have been wanting to get for like six months now. I was watching Mark on his channel reviewing this. I was like, man, I have to get me one of these. You know, the initial, the initial anger at how nice this gift is, is slowly fading away. <laughs> <laughs> and I can feel the, I can feel the tears coming. Thank you, man. This, this really means a lot to me. You're this very is, welcome. This You're is welcome. huge. Man, I am so excited to use this. I have like, I already have a project ready to go where I need, where I was going to buy a new sander just to do it. Thank you so much. You had no idea, for real? No, I had no idea. No, I didn't know. 
You said, that. oh, the only information I have from you was, you're like, I'm coming to your house and I have a surprise for you. That's it. <laughs> All right, enjoy. I will. Thank you very much. Don't reuse this wrapping paper, okay? Well, some of these gifts need to be wrapped. <laughs> pretty good uh, gift bag. <laughs> enjoy, man. All right, buddy. Merry Christmas. I wonder if it feels as good to get a gift as it does to give one. I don't think the feeling's gonna work the same though if you're the one getting yourself a gift. Guess I'm gonna have to go to Atlas and find out. So good. It's a work of art, man. Thank you. No problem. That's sick. I can stick this thing on the cap. Yeah, that'd be great. I can give you a couple stickers and I'll stick the whole thing at the front cache. Awesome. Thanks, man. No problem. Martinez M4 Dimple Face. I've got this cap because it's winter and I'll be doing a lot of interior work, so. This is gonna act as a mallet. It's a very expensive mallet. Green handle, the grip is insane. It's 12 ounces. I love it. What a lot of you might not know is 10 days before Christmas 2016, I was fired from my corporate job. And my wife is the one that encouraged me to start up my own business. So I've wanted one of these hammers ever since I started researching what tools I should buy and I just haven't been able to afford it until now. So did I need to spend $450 on a hammer? Probably not, but it's just a gentle reminder that not all days are gonna be good days and you don't have to love every single day that you go to work. Just stick through all the shit that gets thrown at you because good things will happen if you do. And that is gonna do it for this week's episode. Huge shout out to my friends over at Market Canada for helping me hook Zach up with his dream sander. If you like this video, please do all the things that you're supposed to do when that happens. If you didn't, let me know in the comments below. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. I love you all equally, and I'll see you when I see you. Yes. Yeah, that point is perfect. That's great.